Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. How do, you just mentioned a moment ago, uh, the apostolic, the prophetic. How do the apostolic and prophetic giftings kind of set a, a blueprint for reformation or revival, the one that we've always been longing for? Sure. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I would like to say, first of all, that um, <laughs> as someone who obviously believes I'm, I'm not a cessationist, I'm a continuous I believe that apostles and prophets are still around today, but not in the, the New Testament sense, not as obviously authors uh, of, of the scriptures. You know, so when you read Ephesians 2 and it talks about the church being built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, um, look, I understand those who would say that means that the, the, the church is built on the scripture, the Old Testament, the New Testament. I get that. And I would agree with that. Certainly, we we have that's our ultimate authority. Uh, and when someone proclaims something uh, is of God, it must line up with the scriptures ultimately. However, let me also say this: Ephesians four is very clear that God gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to build up the church to prepare the saints for the work of ministry. And it talks about that happening till we're at a place where there's we're conformed basically to the fullness of the stature of Christ. Um, there's this unity of the faith and we see the whole, we see the church because he says it twice in Ephesians 4, 11 through 16, he says the body of Christ, which is the church. And then in a, it, he says the church, which is the body. So he he's saying that the church is the body of Christ. Now, a lot of us, we have never moved to that place where we recognize what part we play in mm. terms of, you know, the piece of the anatomy that we are. Yeah. There are people that are like, okay, where do I fit in as a body? Well, ultimately, that's what he's doing. And so there has to be this work of seeing us uh, be, you know, come to the likeness of Christ, the fullness of the stature of Christ as kind of like really the Greek speaking of like one man, one body. And then he talks about how th that unity happens. And it's an organic unity where we function together and flow and operate as a body on the earth. And so he's the head of the church. We're the body. Paul talks about that repeatedly in Ephesians and Colossians also. And we actually need to uh, represent Jesus on the mm -hmm. earth. Yeah. So even though he's seated at the right hand of the Father now, we are his body on the earth and the apostolic and the prophetic ultimately i believe tie into you know paul said in first corinthians 12 28 and he wasn't talking just about his time as some would say because my argument is has the church come to that point where we have no longer need to be you know see the saints equipped um to do ministry, um, the you know, the, to be conformed to the fullness of the stature of Christ, to become a body and, you know, have the unity of the faith, that type of thing that he talks about. Obviously not. We still yeah. have a long way to go. Yeah. So we still need all of the fivefold. Yeah. And really, I think it's pretty shabby uh, uh, <laughs> exegesis for us to just turn around and say, well, we have we have teachers, we have evangelists, and we have pastors, but we don't have apostles and prophets yeah. because, I mean, I understand that people say, well, it's the, the canon is of Scripture is completed. I get that, but we still need the role and the specific function of apostles and prophets today, not in the sense of the apostles who were with Jesus as the 12. I get that, but functioning. We see other apostles, you know, we we see in the New Testament. We, Silas um, was called a prophet. In, in uh, Acts chapter 15, it talks about um, S Silas, and, and I think there was another guy that was with him as well. They were both called prophets. So what, are, what is the apostolic and the prophetic? Well, ultimately, it's 1 Corinthians 12, 28. God has set in the church, first of all, apostles, secondarily prophets. And the word proton, right, which talks about rank, order, and sequence. And so there's a place in which we see in the New Testament, again, just following 
um, the example of the of the apostles that they were the ones who went first. Mm. It's not about hierarchy in the sense that they're more important, but it's about priority. And I believe it's about foundation because Paul said that he would lay the foundation of Christ as an apostle who he spoke of himself in 1 Corinthians 3, he was a wise master builder. And so, which, you know, comes from, we get our word architect from that Greek term. So the idea is there, we need apostles today who recognize uh, how they know how to build yeah. according to the pattern or the blueprints of the New Testament. We need prophets who who understand and hear the voice of God, um, who have revelation from the scriptures to be able to speak into the church. And let me let me just say that the lines are often blurred because. When we read in Acts 13, you know, there were prophets and teachers in the church, and it mentions uh, Saul and, and Barnabas and, and the others. And then later on, Paul is obviously recognized as an apostle. He even says he was called to, to be an apostle with the Lord Jesus directly in Galatians. So, you know, and then in some of his writings, he mentions he's a herald, he mentions he's a teacher, and also an apostle together. So, so this, the lines are often blurred and, and they overlap even in, but we definitely need that. And ultimately the very word apostle means one who sent. So it has to do with advancing a kingdom. Yeah. It yeah. has to do with going to the nations and taking the gospel. Jesus didn't call the apostles just to stay put. And when they got too comfortable, we know there was a persecution that happened in the book of Acts. Yeah. Even though the initially the apostles were not, um, they didn't leave, they stayed put. The believers were released, ran with the gospel to the Gentiles ultimately. And then uh, we know after that, though, the apostles did go out and they did go to other nations. We, we know about that. Thomas went to India and, and all those other places. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com.